So let's look at an example. Once again, let the set A be the set containing the elements A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3. And let the set B be the set containing the elements B sub 1, B sub 2, and B sub 3 where in each set the elements are unique then the function phi between A and B containing the ordered pairs A sub 1, B sub 1 and a sub 2, b sub 1, is a function between the sets a and b, but is not a function from the set A into the set B since the element A sub 3 in the set A is not paired with an element in the codomain B, that is, the domain of phi is not the entire set A. Now the subset type face phi containing the ordered pairs A sub 1, B sub 1, A sub 2, B sub 1, and a sub 3, b sub 2 is a function from the set A into the set B since it is a function between the sets A and B such that the domain of typeface phi is the entire set A. So let's look at a map diagram. So the function phi between the sets A and B maps the element A sub 1 onto the element B sub 1 and also maps the element A sub 2 onto the same element B sub 1. But this is not a function from the set A into the set B since the element A sub 3 is not paired with any element in the set B. Now the function typeface phi also maps the element a sub 1 onto the element b sub 1 and the element a sub 2 onto the element b sub 1, but also maps the element a sub 3 onto the element b sub 2. And so this is a function from a into b since the entire domain, or rather the domain of the function typeface phi, is the entire set a. Okay, so new definition. A function 
B, mapping A into B, is called an injection or injective function. if and only if distinct elements in the domain A are never mapped onto the same element in the codomain B, that is, the function phi mapping A into B is injective if and only if for every pair of elements, A sub 1 and A sub 2, in the domain A, if phi of a sub 1 is equal to phi of a sub 2, that is, if a sub 1 and a sub 2 are mapped onto the same element in the set B, then a sub 1 and a sub 2 are the same element in the domain. Now an injection is also called a one-to-one -one function since distinct elements in the set A are mapped onto distinct elements in the set B. So new definition a function phi from the set A into the set B is called a surjection or surjective function if and only if every element in the codomain B is mapped onto by at least one element A in the domain A, that is, the function phi mapping A into B is surjective if and only if for every element B in the codomain B there exists an element A in the domain A such that B is equal to phi of A now a surjection mapping A into B is also called An onto function since every element in the codomain B is mapped onto 
Now notice that a necessary condition for the function phi to be a surjection is that the range of phi must be equal to the entire codomain B. So let's look at an example. Let typeface phi be the set of ordered pairs, a sub 1, b sub 1, a sub 2, b sub 1, and a sub 3, b sub 2, from the previous example. Then V is not injective since V of A sub 1 is the same as V of A sub 2, which is the element B sub 1, but A sub 1 is not the same as A sub 2. And phi is not surjective since B sub 3 is an element in the codomain B and there does not exist an element A in the domain A such that B sub 3 is mapped onto by the element A. That is, the range of phi is not the entire codomain B. So new definition. A bijection is a function phi mapping a set A into a set B that is both injective and surjective new definition let A be a set. The cardinality of the set A is the number of distinct elements in set A and is denoted by placing vertical bars around the set A, the same as for the symbol for absolute value. This is the number of distinct elements in the set A and it is called the cardinality of A. Now a bijection is also called a one-to-one -one correspondence
since for every element in the domain A, there corresponds exactly one element in the codomain B, which is also the range of the function, such that phi of A is equal to B. Now notice that a necessary condition for the function phi to be a bijection is that the cardinality of the domain A and the codomain B must be equal Otherwise, we do not have a one-to-one -one correspondence. And so if the cardinality of A is not equal to the cardinality of B, then there does not exist a bijection mapping the set A into the set B. Okay, so we have been discussing sets mostly in the abstract. Let's now bring the discussion back to something more familiar and concrete. Sets of numbers, and we will be looking at these sets of numbers in more detail than you have probably done in the past. So we'll start with the natural numbers. The set of natural numbers which is denoted with an ornate or blackboard bold letter N, consists of those whole numbers used to count objects set of natural numbers starts with 1 and continues in increments of 1 without end. Now the definition for the natural numbers that I have given is based on five axioms called the Peano axioms. So in case the definition is not clear, we will, we will remove all ambiguity and make the natural numbers a well-defined set. 